Abby Thomas, who thought she was out of the semi-final and then ran her way in to this final. And here's the star of the show, Sha'Carri Richardson. If I went to sleep for the next 10 minutes and woke up and you told me she had run 10:50, uh, I'd believe it. That's how well she looked in the semi-final round, pointing at the clock. The time she ran the semi-final, only three women in history have ever run faster than under, under any conditions. On the inside, in lane four of Shakari Richardson, is the 26-year-old JVN Oliver. I think she's making this team, Lee. She's looked so consistent. She trains with the young lady to her right under Dennis Mitchell in Florida. Tiana Daniels, the 2019 national champion at this distance. Saving her best for the trials. Nothing about her season indicated that she was ready to come here and make the team, but she's been running so well through these rounds. In lane two, one of only two Olympians in this field. This is Jenna Brandini. Better at 200, but if she gets a good start, this is somebody capable of making a U.S. team in this event. And in lane one on the far inside, she has run a sub-11-100 before. It's Candace Hill. The former high school record holder at 100 meters. Coached by Carol Smith-Gilbert and the team at USC. She has made the final. Her first ever at the Olympic trials. So, if some of your friends maybe at the office next week ask you, who should we look for at the Olympics for Team USA in the 100 meters? It's, the answer is simple. It's Shakari Richardson. Is she a little bit of Flojo? Is she a little bit of Gail Divas? Maybe. Some people have drawn that comparison, but she is 100% Shakari Richardson, and she wants everybody to know her name. The wind has died. Down, it's likely to be legal, Lee. So whatever that clock says is going to count. She ran a 10.64, win aided in the semi. Who's going to Tokyo? We're about to find out. <laughs> Women's 100 is underway. JVN Oliver, a fantastic start. She's putting the pressure on Richardson. Here comes Shakari. Richardson's going to Tokyo, 10.87. She ran that time, Lee, into a headwind. The wind switched on them. Listen, it's one thing to be winning during the regular season and in Europe. It's another thing to be the favorite to spot the rest of America that much distance. And at 21 years of age, to have that much confidence in your top end speed and your ability to finish the last part of the race to get there first. Here's Tiana Daniels. She's off to Tokyo as well, and so too is JVN Oliver. So Richardson, Oliver, and Daniels are making the trip. And dominated this field. She's never going to lead through the first 30. But what she has is an ability to relax that you do not see in 21-year-old sprinters. If she has designs, though, Lee, on being an Olympic champion, she's going to have to be a little better in the first half of the race. But once she got to her top-end speed, Alice Texas, as is Shakari, and the LSU product and collegiate record holder is going to Tokyo for the United States in the 100. And you see the Olympic rings next to the first three, Shakari Richardson, JVN Oliver, and Tiana. Anna Daniels.